It may seem like just another bold move from Tesla, but what's happening with the Model 2 has raised eyebrows across the automotive industry. It's not just the price that's drawing attention. The plan goes far beyond creating the cheapest electric car on the market. Behind the rumors, leaks, and quiet announcements lies an ambitious strategy to make this vehicle not only affordable, but also smart, safe, and perfectly tuned for a mass audience. While critics attack Elon Musk for seemingly exaggerated promises, the truth is that the Model 2 is being quietly crafted, with profound changes that go far beyond the spec sheet. The first layer of this transformation has a name and surname, artificial intelligence. Tesla isn't just testing autonomous driving systems, it wants AI itself to actively participate in the car's design. It sounds like science fiction, but it's real. Musk has been giving clear clues that AI will be key to balancing costs and maintaining quality. After all, how can you create a $25,000 car without sacrificing advanced features, safety, and reliability? The answer lies precisely in cutting out traditional engineering excesses and replacing physical testing with intelligent simulations that learn and improve over time. Another point that cannot be ignored is the focus on safety. Tesla seems to be responding to the criticisms that have always surrounded its vehicles, and the Model 2 is being redesigned with a new approach. The goal is clear, to win over families, young people, and urban drivers who need a simple, reliable, and safe car for everyday use. This means leaving aside certain design quirks that, while sophisticated, created headaches in previous models. The Model 2 doesn't want to be pretty in a mall window. It wants to be practical, and that changes everything. But it's not just inside Tesla's labs that the Model 2's future is being defined. Across the pond, Partners like Panasonic are adjusting their technologies to align with the project. That's because creating a cheap car isn't enough. Every part needs to be manufactured more cheaply, efficiently, and scalably. This includes everything from the drivetrain to the small door components. Every detail of the Model 2 is being redesigned to cut costs and facilitate mass production without compromising the driving experience. And speaking of scale, this is perhaps Elon Musk's biggest ace up his sleeve. It's not about launching a car exclusively for the brand's enthusiasts. The goal is to deliver millions of units around the world. A car that isn't restricted to the major urban centers of California, but can also be driven on the streets of South America, Eastern Europe, and Southeast Asia. To achieve this, the Model 2 needs to adapt to different realities. And this adaptation requires intelligence, simplicity, and efficiency. Another curious point is how Tesla is handling the communication of this project. There's no aggressive marketing, no cinematic teasers. Information emerges gradually through loose interviews, strategic leaks, and technical updates that only the most attentive can catch. This is part of the game. It's as if the company wants to filter the right target audience. Not those excited by fads, but those attentive to real changes. And, little by little, this layer of secrecy is peeling away to reveal a potentially game-changing project. What's most intriguing, however, is that, for the first time, Tesla seems to be balancing ambition with pragmatism. The Model 2 isn't about reinventing the wheel. It's about making it cheaper, simpler, and more intelligent. And in the process, it's reshaping the very concept of a mainstream electric car. If successful, the impact will be as big as the first Model S, perhaps even bigger, because this time the focus isn't on luxury, but on scale. And when it comes to scale, decisions need to be smarter than bold. Ultimately, the Model 2 is shaping up as a quiet response to years of criticism, doubts, and ironic laughter. It's not about winning with brute force, but with strategy. Elon Musk is betting on something bigger than a car. He wants to prove that it's possible to combine low price, advanced technology, and safety without sacrificing profit margins. And more than that, 
He wants to show that the real revolution isn't in $80,000 or cars, but in cars that anyone can drive. And that's where the game starts to change. The name may sound strange, but Groke 5 is the piece Elon Musk wants to use to turn things around with the Model 2. This artificial intelligence, developed by the startup XAI, which he founded in 2023, isn't just another supporting software. The idea is to transform it into a sort of co-architect of the car, actively participating in decisions that, until now, depended on hundreds of engineers. This may sound bold to many, but Musk has been paving the way for this for years, and now the technology is mature enough to enter the scene. He claims that Grok 5 has already surpassed famous rivals, including the systems that gave rise to ChatGPT, in benchmarks focused on complex problem solving and program synthesis. Interestingly, while analysts debate whether Grok 5 can achieve so-called artificial general intelligence, Musk seems to have another plan in mind, applying this capability to Tesla's design pipeline. Traditionally, each part of a car goes through lengthy cycles of modeling, testing, and physical validation. With advanced AI, this process can be compressed into weeks. Instead of physical prototypes, simulations with thousands of variables can be run in parallel, cutting engineering costs that, in previous models, could reach hundreds of millions of dollars. This is the way to make a $25,000 car viable without becoming a Frankenstein of quality cuts. And why is this so important for batteries, the heart of any electric vehicle? Because they represent about 30% to 40% of the car's total cost. If Grok 5 can help rethink not only the geometry of cell packs, but also their weight, material distribution, and interaction with energy management software, every penny saved becomes a step closer to affordable pricing. What would previously take months to test can be calculated in hours with AI, creating a near-continuous optimization cycle that only stops when the ideal point is reached. Another detail Musk loves to mention is speed. He compares this strategy to the philosophy of the SR-71 Blackbird, which was never shot down because its only defense was to be faster than any threat. For Tesla, being faster means launching and validating a car in record time before competitors can copy it. Instead of an AI as a supporting tool, Grok 5 would be a creative partner, capable of suggesting solutions that human engineers might not even imagine. It's not just about cutting costs, but about finding new ways to think about a popular electric vehicle? This raises an interesting question. To what extent can car design be delegated to AI? Tesla's history of innovation is fraught with risk, but this may be its boldest bet yet. It's not just about designing a dashboard or adjusting a suspension, but about letting a system learn on its own, which combinations of materials, shapes, and software deliver the best value. It's a level of technological integration that until now seemed restricted to industries like aerospace or pharmaceuticals, and which is now entering the world of popular automobiles. The benefits of this don't stop at the cost effectiveness. With Grok 5, Tesla can more easily create regional variations of the Model 2, adapting the car to different legislation, climates, and usage patterns without needing a massive team in each country. Imagine a model for Brazil with reinforced suspensions and another for Europe focused on energy efficiency, both coming from the same digital design core. This flexibility has never existed on a large scale in the automotive industry. And all of this is possible because Musk is investing heavily in infrastructure to train this AI. The Colossus Cluster in Memphis was created to give XAI unprecedented computing power, running simulations on a colossal scale. This investment is reminiscent of SpaceX's early years with the Falcon 9, when it seemed crazy to spend so much on reusable rockets. And today, it's the industry standard. For the Model 2, this supercomputing foundation is the engine that will enable it to accelerate from ideas to prototypes at a near instantaneous pace. 
If Grok 5 delivers on its promises, the Model 2 won't just be remembered as the cheapest Tesla, but as the first car truly co-designed by AI. And that's a game-changer in a way no competitor is prepared to address. Instead of being just another affordable electric vehicle, it could usher in an era where artificial intelligence doesn't just drive the car, it creates the car. While Tesla is betting heavily on artificial intelligence to speed up and reduce the cost of the Model 2's design, Panasonic appears to be a strategic ally in another crucial area, the battery. The Japanese company, which has supplied cells to Tesla for years, is about to launch its most daring technology yet, an anode-free battery. And this seemingly technical detail could signal a quiet revolution. According to Panasonic's own estimates, this innovation could add about 90 miles of range without increasing the pack size. This is a complete game-changer, especially for a car that needs to cost $25,000 without looking like a plastic toy. Removing the anode allows for more cathode material, such as nickel, aluminum, or cobalt, to be inserted, directly increasing energy density. For Tesla, which is obsessed with optimizing every cubic millimeter within a battery pack, this is pure gold. With more energy stored in the same space, two possibilities arise. Either the car can go further with the same structure, or it can use a smaller, lighter battery to maintain its current range. And it's precisely this second option that fits the Model 2's plan. A lighter car, with fewer cells and lower logistical costs, is exactly what Tesla needs to break the price barrier. Furthermore, Panasonic wants to reduce its dependence on nickel, one of the most expensive metals and one that's sensitive to geopolitical crises. Excessive nickel use makes batteries more expensive and supplies more unstable. If the new cell can balance the formula with other, less volatile materials, the impact will be not only technical, but also economic and geopolitical. It's as if Panasonic is preparing a custom-made product for Musk's plans, denser, cheaper, and less vulnerable to global market turbulence. And all this with a sales forecast for the end of 2027. But the Model 2 is scheduled for 2026, right? That seems like a mismatch, but it doesn't have to be. The initial launch of the Model 2 could use an optimized version of the current batteries. And as Panasonic's anode-free battery gains scale, future versions of the car will be ready to use it. It's the kind of technological transition Musk loves. Launching a product with the best of the best and rapidly evolving it with silent upgrades that don't even require a new generation. This allows Tesla to keep the entry price low, but improve the product over time, without consumers noticing a break in the cycle. And this financial impact is significant. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, a 1% gain in energy density could generate savings of up to $100 per car on an industrial scale. If Panasonic delivers the promised 25%, we're talking about somewhere between $2,500 and $3,000 in savings per vehicle, exactly the margin Tesla needs to reach the magic $25,000 price tag while maintaining a profit. In other words, the battery isn't just a component of the car, it's the difference between global success and commercial failure. Another little discussed but crucial point is consumer behavior. Recent research, such as that by Cox Automotive in 2024, shows that the American public expects at least 400 kilometers of real-world range in an electric car. The Model 2 needs to meet this psychological requirement even if, in practice, many people drive less than 50 kilometers per day. If the new battery allows for 480 kilometers per charge without inflating the price, this mental obstacle disappears. And with that, the car stops being merely viable. It becomes desirable. Greater range also means fewer stops and less dependence on charging infrastructure, which is still limited in many countries. In regions where chargers are scarce, a car that can travel over 400 kilometers on a single charge is more than practical. It guarantees mobility. This dramatically expands the Model 2's target market. 
allowing its acceptance in places where EVs are still viewed with suspicion today. Range becomes as strong a selling point as the price itself. Ultimately, this collaboration between Tesla and Panasonic isn't just about energy, it's about freedom. Freedom for Elon Musk to launch an electric car for the masses without compromising performance. Freedom for consumers to choose an affordable vehicle without sacrificing range. And freedom for the industry to show that, with the right chemistry, it's possible to break even the most rigid limits of automotive engineering. As futuristic as they seemed, Tesla's hidden door handles ended up becoming a headache and, in some cases, a real safety hazard. Reports abounded, people trapped inside cars, rescues requiring windows to be broken, and even tragic situations in which victims were unable to escape from burning vehicles. Bloomberg alone counted 140 incidents related to the door opening system, including injuries and even deaths. Now, with the Model 2 poised to become Tesla's most affordable and family-friendly car, the brand finally seems ready to change. And the change won't just be cosmetic, it goes straight to the most critical issue, reaction time in an emergency. Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Holzhausen, has publicly admitted that the company is rethinking its door architecture. Instead of hidden electronic levers or hard-to-locate sensors, the new approach involves a unified button that combines electronic operation with manual release. Simple, straightforward, and above all, intuitive. Because in the heat of an accident, no one wants to decipher the location of the invisible handle, every second lost could cost a life. And, by all indications, this new approach will debut on the Model 2. That's because Tesla's new car will, for the first time, be designed to be a true family vehicle, not a gadget on wheels. Unlike the Model 3 and Model Y, which flirt with extreme minimalism, the Model 2 needs to be simple enough for even a child or elderly person to operate. The promise of a visible, accessible button that works even without power puts an end to a series of complaints from users who were fed up with the intelligent design that only engineers understand. This time, Tesla is learning from its mistakes. And this change isn't just a response to the press, it speaks to a deeper statistic. Between 2018 and 2023, the NHTSA, the U.S. Vehicle Safety Agency, recorded more than 11,800 complaints involving automatic doors and locks. Tesla had a disproportionate share of these cases. This raised alarm bells among regulators, engineers, and consumers. When it comes to passive safety, like the ability to escape a burning car, there's no room for aesthetic compromises. It's a basic function. And the Model 2 is being designed to fulfill this function without tricks or secrets. For many families, this change can be the deciding factor when it comes to purchasing. A car that sets aside technological spectacle to prioritize passenger protection gains significant points, especially among parents who think twice before putting their children in any vehicle. By adopting this new standard, Tesla also sets a new bar for its competitors, demonstrating that safety doesn't have to be synonymous with complexity. One button, one function, one quick exit. Sometimes what saves lives is precisely the simplest. In fire tests conducted by the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, it was found that smoke can be fatal in less than four minutes. Now imagine a rescue delayed by a confusing or jammed door opening system. In this context, the Model 2 design ceases to be merely a technical advancement and becomes a commitment to life.